From the PEN studios, this is the Imperfect Moms Club with your hosts, Lisa and Brittany. Thrifty Brittany goes shopping this week. It's a special on the road edition of Imperfect. Come join us for a creative episode of the Imperfect Moms Club. So, today's a special episode of the show. Mom and I are going on a field trip, and you're coming along. We're yes. going. Where are we going, Mom? We're going thrifty. We're going to the thrift stores. So. This is something I normally do by myself because you have to have like a thrifting buddy or just go alone. Like if you're, I, know. I can't take Michael because he's not a th- big thrifter and he just like looks around for two seconds and he's like, okay, I'm done. Mario doesn't even go with me. No. He's, he's not a good thrifting buddy either. You need to have a friend who's willing to like spend at least an hour. Oh, yes. At least. Yes. And you have to like really like dig through. Yes. It's a treasure hunt. It is. It is a treasure hunt. You don't know what you're going to find. Oh, my goodness. Can I, I ever pull out of here? We're never going to get the turn left. Oh, my goodness. It's okay. Just take your time. Ar- arrive alive. I went to a thrift store with the kids and Michael. Big mistake. But this was when we were in Boston for, I guess, um, a spring break. I found a thrift store. And I'm like, let's go. Because that's, like, my one thing I love to do. Yes. We spent maybe 15 minutes. No wasn't long enough but here's the thing and this is my pet peeve they didn't have it organized by size oh that's not good everything no. was organized by color, color. and yeah. you know what I, I like it when it is organized by color and by size definitely yeah because sometimes you're like oh I need something black I need something pink or whatever or you're like oh I have way too many blue things so like I'll do that right like, I know I have a lot of yellow things yeah so I'll kind of skip the yellow section because I don't need another yellow t-shirt because I have enough to wear a yellow t-shirt every day of the week um yeah but they had nothing was organized by size and that is just like a big no-no definitely no no I mean put the put the effort out I know I know it's a lot of work people but we want to Enjoy our shopping experience, right? Yeah, I will spend more time in the store. Yes. I will spend more money, money at the store if you put it by size. No one does that. You don't go to Walmart. No. And no, it's it's organized by size. Okay, we can stop and get gas. <gasps> Look at that cute little camper. Oh, that's adorable. It's so cute. I want to buy something like that and make it into like a little pop up shop. Yeah. Like you stop on like the side of the road or you stop at like a little farmer's market and you have like this little store and people can like go in. I love it. So cute. How we'll much do you think it's going to be? Oh, oh no! That's a sticky note. Card, Card reader not, not looking. looking. <laughs> Please come inside to pay. Prepay. Well, we can just wait for another person. Well, is that all of them? I don't know. All right. Let's see if there's let's just Let's see if there's sticky notes on all of them. That oh, one doesn't but, have a sticky note. Okay, well, now I have to drive around because my thing is... Yeah, oh, you're... Oh, my goodness. By the way, life hack. How do we know what side of the car <gasps> the gas thingy is on? You look at your little gas... Icon. Thingy. Icon, <laughs> thank you. And whichever, it gives you a little oh, watch, arrow. Watch him, watch whoa, him. Whoa, 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 oh, there you are, camper man. Okay, so you look at the little gas icon on your dashboard, and wherever the arrow is, that's the side Oh, where... look at... Okay, sorry. Grandma here with a 24 case of Corona. Well, maybe her grandkids are coming over and she like needs to chill. <laughs> oh my! Oh my goodness! Am I gonna hit him? Oh, hey, no, no, a... you're, you're not gonna hit him. You're fine. Okay. She's looking at us though. Well, can take a picture. <laughs> so that's how you know what side your gas. Yeah. Is it called a gas can? Gas gasket? Your gas port door. I don't. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I don't. Is Nuni's Nook open on Sunday? I don't know if she's open. I, I guess wait, maybe she is open. Ooh, I have to go to Nuni's. Yeah, no, no knees. Oh, no knees. Not new knees. <laughs> I can't remember new her knees. name ever. <laughs> Either. <laughs> yeah. So if you're gonna go thrifting, you have to have a either go buddy. a thrifting buddy or you go by yourself. Self. Yes. Now the thing about the Goodwills, at least the ones in New England. Is it on on Saturday and Sundays? They have these dollar days. Yeah, and so they they have all of their merchandise, and they have different colors of tags. So one 
one, uh, so Saturday and Sunday, one tag will be one dollar. Like yes. you could get anything. It could be a wedding dress. <laughs> you could get it for, for a dollar. For a dollar. Oh my yeah. goodness. So we're going on Sunday afternoon, and we're gonna go see. You know, if there happens to be something for a dollar that we want, like that's cool. You know, yes. it's a steal. Yes. Um, but you know, the, the rest of the week they'll they'll pick one color, and that's the color that's fifty percent off. Okay. So now, does this go for like? Say it's blue today. Okay. Is the dollar. Okay. So is it on clothes and shoes yes. and furniture? Yes. <gasps> yes. Everything. Everything. Oh my goodness. It's supposed to be. Now, can we just talk about how thrifting is not what it used to be? It is not. Like, no. it's, it's so Goodwill, I don't know about all the other thrift stores, but Goodwill has figured out that people have, will just give them like really cool stuff yeah. and antiques. And now, before they put all of the merchandise out on the floor, they sift through it. And if it's something really cool, they don't put it on the floor. They just put it straight on eBay. <gasps> yes. I did not yes. know that. If it's a big name brand, like say it's an American Girl doll. Seriously. Or someone drops off a Gucci bag, <laughs> you know, something like that. If, it, if they catch it, like if they, they see it. They do not put it on the floor. They photograph. It goes in like a special place. They like photograph it. They put it up on eBay and they will sell it on eBay. Really? Yes. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that either. And then also they have a new section in Goodwill where it's called like the selected pieces or, or some or handpicked items or whatever. Okay. And it's if they get something cool, but it's not going to sell on eBay. Like maybe they get like an antique or something. So They'll put it in a special section with like a special sticker and it's more than what you would normally spend. Like say you like you go in the toy section and you'd spend maybe a dollar on yes. like a stuffed animal. But if they think it's cool, but it won't sell on eBay, they'll mark it up to like $10. No. Yeah, I know. No. So yeah, no. but when you, like when I was a kid, you could go to the thrift store and spend $20 and get like bags of clothes. Yeah. It's not like that anymore. I mean, like where I'm up in Canada, I go to Village um, Value Village, Value Village, and they have priced their. I mean, I've looked at dresses, and they want like twenty eight dollars for a used, worn dress. No, I'm like I am not paying twenty eight dollars for this dress. It's absolutely ridiculous. They have raised their prices. I would say minimum by twenty percent. Yeah, I mean. No, it's, it's, it's used clothing people. Okay. Right. It's, and the reason now I like to go to the thrift store because it's fun. You yes. know, I, I like to see what I can find. I like to find things that I can paint yes. or things that I can sew. Like it's not uncommon for me to go and find a bed sheet or a skirt or a, a, a tablecloth and then turn it into something completely different. Like Absolutely. I've, I've sewn dresses for Clara. I've turned, I, I love doing stuff like that but there was and we don't need to get into the detail but there was a time like we had to go to the thrift store like oh, that's absolutely you know and like for people where like that is where they get their clothing for their kids that's where they get their shoes that's where they get their stuff and that's really hard if you have to spend like seven dollars on i don't know a baking sheet because right they just decided to up their prices, prices. i mean I for especially for like families. I mean, that's where I got a lot of your your kids's, your and Nathan's clothes because we didn't have a lot of money. So I mean, you guys grow kids grow out of their clothes so quickly. Every season, they need a new wardrobe. They do. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to spend thirty, forty, fifty dollars on designer clothes for my kids. We, I mean, we didn't have it. If you do, fine. But. Right. Like I've, I've always said, if I had all the money in the world, I would drop it all on my kids because I love them. But at the same time, I'm like, this is only going to fit them for a short period of time. Right. And I would rather buy the Walmart shoes and yes. then take that extra money and go do something cool. Like right. take them out for ice cream, go take them to a museum, go, well, go do something. Does a four-year-old or a three-year-old, do they even realize they're wearing designer clothes? No. They don't even have an appreciation for it. No. Now, there, there have been a few times I've gotten hand-me-downs, and I've gotten some really nice yes. stuff. And that's kind of fun to be like, ooh, you know, we have this cool name brand. But mostly my kids, when they were babies, they wore a lot of Old Navy, and it was clearance Old yep. Navy. I got things for like 99 cents, Old Navy clearance or Old Navy thrifted. 
just because we lived near one. And now they wear a lot of like children's place, Walmart, whatever. And, and then there's a consignment shop I go to and it, yeah, it's, it's all thrifted stuff. Right. So it's just, it's whatever I can find thrifted. I don't care if it's a Nike shoe. I don't either. I don't, I just want it to fit. Right. And I'm fine with it after that. Yeah. I mean, it's, and, but you know, another thing is if you're into recycling yes. and you know, thinking about the environment and things like that, thrifting is a great way to recycle. Right. Yeah. Well, like I said, like, you know, taking something old exactly. and turning it into something completely so different. different. Like yeah. I've taken window panes and I don't, I don't put them in my house for a window. I've turned them into coffee tables or yeah. you can paint them and hang them up on your wall. Or I've taken shutters and I've turned those into like places to hang pictures. Like yeah, I've strung absolutely. up lights and um, clothespins and stuff. If when I buy clothes from Walmart, they don't last. No, they don't. They just don't. And so if you can find something at a thrift store that's maybe an older item, but most of the time the quality is better. The fabric is better. The stitching yeah. is better. It's put together better because, I don't know, like now they just are pumping out so many different clothes. Like they're putting up thousands and thousands of different designs every single day. They don't need it to last, you know, full season. Well, and you know, women like to change their wardrobe constantly. We do. And I mean, I get bored of things and I'm like, ah, I'm going to, I'm, I'm tired of this skirt. Like it still fits. <laughs> well, I'm tired of it. And one thing I, I try to do, um, not always, but a lot of times I try to go in and find your basic classic yes. stuff. So like your basic black skirt, dress, pants, your jeans. Jeans don't go out of style. I mean, right. maybe, well, you might, between the mom jeans and the... Uh, your classic jean. Your like classic jean. jean. It's always going to be in style in your classic... A jean jacket. A jean jacket. I mean, and it's so versatile. Or your t-shirts mm -hmm. or your a blouse. I mean, I think going in and buying something fun and wacky it's it's great to do that as well because you're not you know dropping a, a bunch of money on it but at the same time if you stick with the basics your, your classics man i mean mm -hmm. you can make that go for years yes yeah and you're paying pennies for it yeah and women last time i went to a thrift store i bought at least three items that still had the tags on them yes yeah because sometimes people buy things yeah then they never wear them. Yeah. And so, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll be sold. Tag still on it. I'll take that yeah. for 50% off. Yeah, not a problem. So, like, some, some people don't think that, they think thrifting is, like, gross. No. You just, just wash it. Just, yes. <laughs> you know, just think of, like, if your best friend gave you, like, a, a sweater or right. a hand-me-down. Just wash it, and it's fine. Just you know? wash it, and you're good to because go. Because if you buy it brand spanking new, you wash it, like, two or three times. Now it's thrift store quality. Well, the thing is, a lot of times when you go try things on, maybe somebody else came on, came in and tried that dress on. That dress has already been on somebody else's body. Yeah, you're talking like new. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, which is why when they're doing swimsuits, they always leave that little sticker. Oh, <laughs> that's... They put the sticker on there. Yes. Do not take but the sticker off. Or don't take your undies <laughs> off. Don't take your underwear <laughs> off. Don't take the sticker off. <laughs> but do they do that? Okay. I don't know. All right. I don't know if I should say this. You can say this. Okay. So I was in Victoria's Secret once. I'm looking at their underclothes. And there's two girls having this conversation. And she told her friend, she goes, the one girl was like, oh, it's so much money. I just don't want to spend the money on it. She goes, I'm going to tell you what I've done in the past. She said, you buy it. You wear it, then you bring it back and get your money. Ew. And I'm uh, like, are you kidding me? No, and no, she no, was no. telling her girlfriend how she worked the system. No. And I'm like, are you uh, under clothes? That's She's gross. Like, yeah. That's it, what she did. Do, do not buy underwear at the thrift store. No. <laughs> don't buy that. No. That, that's a big no-no. We don't buy the underwear. No. Um, no, buy, no. <laughs> that, buy that new. Yeah, buy that. That needs to be new. And that's... Yeah, that's just that's one of the rules. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but books, I love finding books at the oh, thrift absolutely. store. It's, with books for us, books for the kids. Yes. Um, love doing that. Crafting uh, materials. Crafting materials. Jars, mason oh, jars. Yes. If you just need like a pretty bowl for like a salad or something, yeah. you go to the thrift store. Or picture frames. Picture, picture frames. Because you could paint them. Yes. If you wanted to. Yeah. Mirrors. You know, yeah. 
uh, so we like going to Goodwill. We've done Salvation Army before. There's the store in Canada called uh, Valley Village. I think in America they call it Savers. I'm not sure. They do. Um, there's another thrift store. It's not clothing, but I still really like it. It's Habitat for Humanity yeah. thrift store. And we used to live near one. And I went just about every week. And you can, like, I found, like, a table for, like, a dollar. I got, I paid, I, I paid a dollar. And I got a whole table. It's so cool. That's a good deal. You can find, like, lamps and you know, people are like renovating their kitchen, so they'll rip out their old cabinets and right. they'll bring them to the restore. And I use those cabinets to make part of my basement craft room. And I paid like twenty four dollars. And, and got, they look like something that you would get out of a show showroom. Yeah, because the way that you redid them. Yeah. So thrifting is great. <laughs> it is. So we're gonna go to the thrift store. We don't know if we're gonna find anything, but we'll talk about it if we do. So. now, a word from our sponsors. Imagine a world where potty training is fun, fast, and easy. Only pull-ups have Disney graphics that fade when wet to teach big kids to stay dry, so they're motivated to keep the music going. I'm a big kid now. Switching and saving with GEICO is easy, so you're free to ponder life's big questions. Like if a person can get discombobulated, does that mean the rest of the time they're just like, combobulated? Are we humans always in a state of combobulation? Until, of course, something dramatic happens and we are discombobulated for a while. Then we go back to being combobulated. Yeah, that's probably how that works. Switch and save with Geico. It's easier than you think. Enjoying this show? Be sure to check out all the shows across the podcast entertainment network, where there's a show for every interest. Visit www.podcastentertainment.com Perfect. B. Be imperfect. B. B. Imperfect. B. We could have like little pom poms. B. B. Imperfect. And now back to the Imperfect Moms Club on the Podcast Entertainment Network. Okay, so I'm at the thrift store, and like I was just saying, um, they have what is this? Like an antique toboggan? An antique sl- uh, sled. It's a. Like, how old do you think this is? Oh my goodness, that's at least 20 years old. 20 year old, it's, I mean, it's nice, but they have it for $20. So that's a little out of my budget. I think we are gonna divide and conquer. So I'm going into the book section because I'm a mom and a teacher. And so I'm always looking through the books. Um, You can find chapter books for your kids. Anything that has like scholastic on the bottom is good. Um, and uh, just flip through them first, make sure like all the pages are there and it's not like stuck together or anything like that. I always come to the books, you can find things for like a dollar or 50 cents sometimes. So the hardcover books tend to go for a little bit more, but it's still a really good deal, um, as opposed to just buying them new. Now I'm in the adult book section, and I like to come in here because you can find some really old looking books, like Hi. antique looking books. So for like your kitchen, if you wanted to have some cool old cookbooks displayed or something like that, that could be really fun. Some like aesthetically pleasing like coffee table books and things. Um, You can find all of those here at the thrift store, like history books. And I'm like, here's a really pretty version of the Scarlet Letter. It looks really old and antique. I don't think it is. I think it's made to look like an antique. Um but that's only $4 and that could look really pretty on your coffee table or something like that. Um, They have a a collection of Norman Rockwell favorites, which my husband actually loves. So I might buy this because these are poster size images of Norman Rockwell um, paintings and these would look really cool in my husband's office. And I can get this whole book for $4 and there's 50, posters in here so I think that's a really good price um you can also look through we have like kitchen chairs here and those are fun for um if you're gonna do like an eclectic look in your house if you want to just like sand them down and repaint them it is really not difficult to do at all you can do it with very minimal paint um and they have a bunch of kitchen chairs here these are only 
four dollars a piece really good deal for a kitchen chair and I've bought those a lot before and I'll just take them home repaint them how I want them uh, maybe recushion it with a new fabric it's a bargain okay so now I'm over by the like games like board games and stuff puzzles I would probably stay away from the puzzles because you just don't really know if all the pieces are in there um, unless you can tell like the box has not been opened I probably wouldn't I probably would just stay away from the puzzles but uh, another thing I love to look at when I'm here is going to the board game section and anytime they have like a Scrabble game or games that have little pieces that have letters on them or numbers like right now there's a Scrabble game for two dollars even if you don't have the entire game set you can just take the little tiles out the little square pieces and you can do stuff with that with your kids for letters and number recognition um, so just because the whole game isn't there doesn't mean that it doesn't still have some kind of value you can put them in sensory bins just give them your kids to mess around with to play with and again just all that extra exposure to um, letters and numbers it's good oh okay how do I get out of here okay um <laughs> follow them okay Follow that, oh, follow that car. I'm panicking. <laughs> follow that car. So you got your jacket, you got your pants. We got Clara brand new leggings. Two pairs. Two pairs with the tags and still stickers. Still on them. Yeah, still on them. Um, and then I found that Norman Rockwell book. Yes. So Mike loves Norman Rockwell. So I'm, I'm gonna let him pick out some and we'll print up. Oh, we'll like. Frame frame them. Them. Yeah, so we're gonna go to another Goodwill. Uh, there's another one, maybe about like not, it's not even like five minutes away. Now, this next Goodwill, I have the worst luck. Yes, go straight. Sorry, mom, mom's asking for directions. I don't know where yeah, going. um, this next place, I don't have good luck with clothing, but I have good luck with like stuff, like home goods. Okay, well, that's good. Yes, now. I remember going out with grandma and every time we would go to a yard sale or a thrift store that was in a rich neighborhood, she'd get all excited. Yes. Do you think that's true? Cause I don't think that just cause you're in a rich neighborhood, they're going to have good stuff. I don't know. That's what she would always say. She was like, when we remember we'd go through, we'd get the paper and then we would circle. Yeah. The yard sales we were going to go to. And then we'd have one, two, three, we would number them. Which yeah. One, which one? Yeah. Well, also like you want to know like distance wise, like yes, you want to put them in order of distance. And then grandma was always, oh, we're not going to that one. I'm like, why? Well, that's not in a nice neighborhood. But, so maybe <laughs> like maybe definitely a avoid the ones that are in sketchy neighborhoods yes but just because there's a yard sale or a thrift store in a nice neighborhood doesn't mean the, it's going to be good not always because i i don't find that to be true well and then sometimes if it's in a nicer neighborhood sometimes they put their prices up really high because yeah they're thinking that we're all gonna <laughs> we're all nice rich people, people. That was not. Like, what, why do you think we're coming to a garage sale if we had money we wouldn't be shopping here yeah I do love yard sale season. I do too. But you, seriously, if you're going to have a yard sale, things need to be priced like a dollar or like oh, 25 cents. Absolutely. Like, okay. So like up in Quebec, we've we've done a little garage show, selling up there. People will put out a box of junk and want $25 for it. Yeah. They'll like rip their ceiling fan out of the ceiling so, and it still has like the drywall on it yeah. and like the wires and they're like, oh, I want this like for $50 because... I bought it for 55, 55. 40 yeah. years ago. Seriously. And the, they don't know how to do yard sales. I'm sorry. No. But, okay, so I was thinking about this on my way here. What was your number one best find, either at a thrift store oh, or yard sale? You're going to laugh at me. No. Because you were with me. Oh, it's, it's not the sweater. It's not the sweater, although I did find a very ugly sweater that I love. I think I still have it. I have yet to wear it out in public, but I love the sweater I, so I understand much. why. I remember this was right before college, and you laughed at me because I was in the, the car with you on the way there, and I'm like, I'm going to go find a little treasure. And you're like, a little treasure? <laughs> and I found a Cinderella toaster that would print a shoe on your toast. Oh, my goodness. And the little thingy to, like, make the toast go down was like a heart and it was so cute and I don't know what happened to it. It, it, 
probably ended up at a Goodwill store. It nice. probably ended up back at the thrift store. Probably. I was like, yes, I need this toaster. But we're recycling. No, is this my exit? No, not yet. Keep okay. going. So what was your best thing? My best find ever was at a yard sale in Burlington, Vermont. I bought a Crucet. Oh, um, yes. Remember that? Do you, what would you so call the, that? Dutch oven. oven. Dutch oven for a dollar. Yeah, I, I was... You beat me because I found a crew set, like the nice one, the name brand for eight dollars. I, I could, which is still a steal. Absolutely. Yeah. So you're gonna take this exit. Still a complete steal. But yeah, a dollar. I so I'm for, checking it over. I'm like, is this like a knockoff or something? Or it's like it, there's like a giant crack in it or something. Exactly. Something's wrong with it. Nothing. Nothing wrong. Oh, I grab that puppy up. I'm like a doll. I'm like this woman does not know what she has. I know. Yes, I know. Oh, it's a, that was amazing. Best find ever. I, ever. I use my Dutch oven when I'm cooking chili. Yes. And I want it just to sit on the stove oh, for like yes. a whole long time. Yes. Or if I'm making no need bread, I put it yes. in the Dutch oven and it gets all crispy and like it's, really good. It is fantastic. Yes. I mean, just unbelievable. Yeah, a dollar. I, I had a friend who went to a yard sale and he bought what he thought was a knockoff Rolex. And I think he paid $15 for it. I could be wrong, but it was something like that. And then he took it to a jeweler and the jeweler's like, no, this is real. You're kidding. And I don't remember how much he sold it for, but he turned it around and made a lot of money off of this quote unquote knockoff Rolex. Rolex. <laughs> you know, sometimes people just, I don't think they realize what they have mm -hmm. and they just give things away or they just, they really just don't care. Yeah. Well, like, okay. So like when we've moved before, like I just start pitching stuff. Like right. yes, at first I'll start selling things. I'm like, okay, I want to sell my couch. I want to sell the table, whatever. But then once you get closer to the move date, it's like just Give get it away it. for free. Like, I don't even care. I just need this stuff out of my house. So I think that's what happens. It's okay. <gasps> Yard sale. Oh, that's Saturday. Oh, that's Saturday. Yeah, we missed, missed it. it. Oh, well. But, you know, if you stay next weekend, <laughs> we can go to some yard sales. And I have Monday off because it's Memorial Day. It's very tempting. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> she wasn't waving at us. <laughs> Who was she waving at? I don't know. She was like, yeah, hello. <laughs> okay. We're just... We're <laughs> we're so nerdy we are. that's all right we are nerdy we're so can we talk about side note mom's road rage oh i don't have road rage. yes you do but you you do not say expletives no i don't what do you call people when they're like cutting you off or they're, oh, or they're being crazy snow, crazy drivers snowman she calls them snow you're, you're a snowman you're a snowman or you're a stinker Oh, Say, hey, cowboy. Oh, yeah. Or, hey, Chicky Poo. <laughs> Chicky Poo, cowboy, snowman, stinker. Yes. Those Mom. are my bad words. I remember <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Nathan was little, like maybe seven or something, and you yelled in the car. You're like, hey, you crazy driver. And Nathan rolled down his window in the back of the van. And he stuck his head out with, crazy driver. And oh dad was like, goodness. kiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I don't think I did that. Yes, you, I remember Nathan sticking his head out the window and yelling crazy driver after you had yelled crazy driver. It's like, I got my kids in here. But, yeah, And you, you know? still, so when we stop and if it's a hard stop, she will throw her arm across. Oh, it's just that motherly instinct. And she's like going to stop me. But the thing about mom is she weighs like 50 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and like her little arm is like a twig. And she's like, I will stop you from going through the windshield. I will. It's no, that. What's that... going to happen is that the airbag is going to go off well, and it's going to make an imprint of your arm, arm in my chest. <laughs> you will have an imprint of my hand on your chest forever. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's funny. I don't remember that. I remember. I also remember you yelled at a um, truck driver. Truck driver, because he wouldn't let us in or I, something. I rolled the window down and I said, you're not a very nice man. And he laughed at me. He did. And then he, he let did. us in. Yeah. Because we were trying to like change lanes was, and he wouldn't let us in. And no. he's in this massive semi and we're in our puny little. I was like, <laughs> I have my children in here. Oh, it was so funny. And I was like, mom. Well, he, you know, we, we did laugh. He was... We got a good kick out of it. Yeah. Okay, so we're now at our second Goodwill. 
right. I don't know if we're gonna find anything. We might not. Fingers crossed. We're also near a Target, Ooh, a so we might need to pop over there. Target because it's on their dollar section. Exactly. With prices being they are right now for gas, we need to make like this trip yes, really we count. Do. Mm -hmm. Every time, make it count. Yes. So. I always, always stop by the basket section because baskets are great for like storage or like for bread baskets or napkins on the table. Like it's really hard for me to walk away and not buy a basket every time I go to a thrift store. There's all different shapes and sizes. I've even used them for planters before. I'll have them outside um, and I'll like put plants in them. They look really cool. I'm a sucker for wicker. Like most of my purses are wicker purses because I love them so much. I found some things for the girls. I found five My Little Ponies. I don't know, how big are these things? Eight inches or yeah, something? That's a good size. Eight inch My Little Ponies. I got them two Disney Princess Barbie dolls with the dresses, which is always like a huge plus. I don't want to buy naked Barbie dolls. And they, I think I, I spent. Let's see, one, two, three. I spent eight dollars and I got all of those toys for them. And like I found some shorts for Molly that were like a dollar fifty a piece, I think. <laughs> yes, mom's mom's <laughs> like, wash your hands. Sanitize. I will say one of the downsides to thrifting is after you get home. Did you find a paper cut? Oh yeah, man. Didn't she, that. <laughs> she found a paper cut. When you get home, your hands feel kind of like like there's a film on I know. them almost. Yeah. You're like, what? So we do have to wash our hands when we go home. And I will wipe down everything yes. and clean everything before I give it to my children. But and, yes, wash it. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean it wasn't it wasn't amazing. Yeah, I was bummed. I but, was I was so pumped up after what I found at the other Goodwill that yeah. I'm like, yeah, the good vibe is with us. Yes. But that's okay. We're going to go to Target now. We're going to go to Target. Which isn't thrifting, but it's here, so <laughs> we'll catch with you later. <laughs> okay, so we're back. Mom's upstairs. The girls are already playing with their My Little Ponies. Um, I wiped them down with uh, those disinfecting wipes. I'm going to throw the clothes that I got for the kids in the wash before I let them have them. But uh, yeah, like it wasn't like a total win this time the, um, going to the thrift store but I found a few things um, that was kind of fun and I spent less than I think I spent maybe about $20 on everything um, let me know if you like this kind of podcast episode the like adventure ones where we go off and about and we take you with us I don't know this was the first time where I'm trying this I've only heard of one other podcaster who kind of does this type of thing um, but yeah this was this was really fun one thing else I want to talk about when going to the thrift store is um, any container, any, what do they call it? A vessel. It can be a planter. Um, if you find a really cool vase or teacup or basket, uh, even, okay, I'm telling you, you're gonna think I'm crazy. Even like really old funky looking purse. If you just line it with like some plastic, you can turn it into a really cool, funky planter, and it can be so inexpensive. You can have, like, the coolest little, like, flower garden or just little planter hanging on your windowsill. I love finding unique things, um, discarded things, beautiful junk, I like to call it, and turning it into something else. So that's something I'm always looking for when I am at the thrift store is maybe there's, like, an old pots an old uh, I, I always thought it would be kind of cool to kind of like take an old um coffee maker and turn it into like a terrarium of some kind I thought that would look kind of cool so just always keep an eye out for that sort of thing like how can you use a piece in a different way how can you be a little bit creative and maybe you not use it for its intended purpose so it just it gets the creative juices flowing and like I said sometimes you find something amazing and you get, come home with a great haul and sometimes it's like today and you just don't get as much stuff but it's all about 
just like the hunt. <laughs> it's all about the adventure of it all. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you like this style of episode rather than like my sit down scripted type of thing, please let me know. Please reach out to the podcast. Reach out and DM me on Instagram. Um, where else should we go? What other adventures should we do? Um, share the podcast with a friend, especially if they're a thrifting friend. I think they might enjoy it. I always love talking about thrifting. I love following following thrifting Instagrams and stuff like that. And this is like my one thing I get to do every week or every other week. Um, that's like my mommy time. This is like my one thing. I don't take the kids with me. I don't take my husband with me. Normally it's just me going on by myself, having a solo date with myself. Um, today I brought my mom, but, um, this is like my little self care. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will catch you next Wednesday. Have a great week. Want to get in touch with the show? Email us at imperfect at podcastentertainment.com. Thank you for listening to today's episode of the Imperfect Moms Club.